In Sporting News Today, the anthem of the London Games, Fernando Torres unloved, Real Madrid recruits over the internet, Kobe Bryant's tribute to Italian cinema, and the latest news in video games with Tiger Woods. London is getting ready to welcome the upcoming Olympic Games. Athletes, fans and volunteers, everyone is on the starting blocks. One of the sponsors of the event has a plan to keep us entertained until July the 27th when the opening ceremony is set to take place. Coca-Cola launched its new advertising campaign with English DJ and producer Mark Ronson as its ambassador. The star of the decks traveled the world looking for inspiration to compose the anthem of the Olympic Games. He met athletes set to shine during the competition. Five Olympic hopefuls are the ambassadors of the campaign. English table tennis player Darius Knight, American hurdle jumper David Oliver, Russian sprinter Ksenia Vdovina, Singaporean archer Diane Jafar, and Mexican Taekwondo champion Maria Espinoza. Each athlete worked with Mark Ronson to supply sounds that are unique to their sport to help create the anthem, and here's the result. Internet is never easy on struggling players, especially when the athlete in question is a famous footballer who gets paid 58 million euros and only managed to score six goals for Chelsea over the course of a year. Fernando Torres is no doubt the worst value for money in the history of football. Unfortunately for the Spaniard, his club isn't doing too well right now, so Blues fans are venting their frustrations on Torres. In this video posted by a fan, you can see Fernando Torres on the field against the Italian team of Naples, and the striker scores. A real rarity is so rare in fact that his coach Villa Boas breaks down in tears. An angry supporter can be particularly creative. Recruiters will stop at nothing to find the new Lionel Messi. Real Madrid knows this. The Spanish club has found its new little prodigy on YouTube. His name is Luis Henrique dos Santos, nicknamed Petty. He is Brazilian and only 13 years old. Some already see in him the future Lionel Messi. Number 10, just like him, left-handed, just like him, and full of talent, just like him. Sure of his son's talent, Petty's father decided to film him and publish his exploits on the internet. Betis Seville was the first to spot him, but unable to sign him for financial reasons. Real Madrid is next in line. Florentino Perez's club has fallen in love with the young Brazilian. Now we have to wait for the approval of the club's technical committee to seal the deal. Come what may, Luis Henrique dos Santos will no doubt be rapidly joining a club and make his father's dreams come true. Kobe Bryant is maintaining law and order in the streets of Milan. Don't panic, it's just the Lakers star's latest role in a Nike ad. The scene takes place in the Lombard capital in the 70s. Gangsters face off against the law, but Kobe, aka Black Mamba's intervention sets things right. Nike invested big with this campaign. Kobe is surrounded by a number of Italian football celebrities like Gennari Gattuso, Marco Materazzi and Wesley Schneider. The ad was filmed by renowned movie director Enzo Castellari. A rather fun nod to Kobe Bryant's childhood which he spent in Italy and to Italy's football heritage. We have news about the Tiger Woods PGA Tour 13. The golf simulation game is set to come out late March. The game will include a legacy mode that will allow you to play the biggest golf player of all time throughout his career. You'll get to relive his very first TV appearance at the age of two in the Mike Douglas Show or his first victory in 1984 at the Junior World Golf Championships. Tiger Woods was eight at the time. The incredible thing about this mode is that when you're young Tiger Woods, you're not just watching footage but actually playing a game. Even better, the legacy mode of the Tiger Woods PGA Tour 13 will also be dedicated to Rory McIlroy, another brilliant golfer who started out young, since he won the Junior Ryder Cup aged only 14. It's a growing trend to make us relive the lives and careers of champions. Goes to show that thanks to sports, video games can be an educational tool. Thank you, Tiger Woods.